Hey guys, it's us. I know, not who you were expecting, right? But, anyways, we're on another day off today, as usual. We seem to only really vlog when we're having days off, because work's boring. Nobody wants to go back to work when they're having time off and watching a video on YouTube. But, we're on our day off today. When we got out of the hotel this morning, it was a little darker than this already, and the moon was still out. So I think that's a little too early for me to get out of bed. But today we're going on a trip, a day trip, somewhere that I'm not going to tell you yet. But Jamie has wanted to go here since she's come to England. So after a year, after a year, she's finally getting there. So we're going to the train station now and uh, film more later. But I can't do this all on my own. Superman. I'm Superman. Okay, so we're pretty much noobs. We just got home and we got to the train station and uh, it's the little kiosk machine stuck in my card and it asked me for my booking reference number as well instead of just putting in my card. So we're thinking, oh Christ, left the booking reference number at home, so we had to go all the way back to the hotel, come all the way back to the train station, but as you can see, we're now on one of England's favorite methods of travel. An hour later. An hour later, but it should be worth it because we're going to a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And, and, one of the seven wonders of the world. So get your thinking caps on, kids. As we turn the corner, look to the left at the haunch of venison, with origins dating back to 1320, and one of the oldest inns within the city limits. Within this were dug 56 pits, today named the Aubrey Hole, after the 17th century antiquarian John Aubrey, who discovered them in 1636. These likely held wooden posts, although much later in their history, which is joining the monument from the right hand side of the bus. Popular legend has it that the summer solstice sunrise, viewed from the centre of the monument, is directly over the hillstone. In fact, this has never been true, as the sunrise is to the left of the stone originally framed between the two. The other stone that needs explaining is the slaughter stone, which can be... Jamie and I have made it from Salisbury. We went through Salisbury, something, yeah. Through Amsbury. And now we've found our way uh, to our destination. And remember how in the Greece videos we were collecting stones, like little pebbles and things? Well, we found some more cool stones that we think you should check out. Cool beans. Welcome to Stonehenge world. It's pretty neat. Jamie's excited. Selly Mountains in southwest Wales. Some 385 kilometers, that's 240 miles away. They were probably dragged down to the sea, loaded onto huge rafts, and brought up the River Avon, which flows past Amesbury and through Salisbury. Then, somehow, they were carried a considerable distance overland to here. 
Thanks for the information, audio guide. Jamie doesn't like waiting for me while I listen to my audio guide and make vlogs. She's not a supporter. I'm just kidding. She's supporting her more than anybody else. Everyone seems to be enjoying Stonehenge. Everyone's taking pictures and just really enjoying the site, listening to their audio guide, and learning lots. And, uh, I mean, why not? It's a pretty cool thing. Really old, uh, a magnificent feat of engineering. Over 5,000 years old for some parts of it. But then there's Jamie. More interested in taking pictures of sheep. I like sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Stonehenge. Pretty cool place. Big rocks, I suppose. But where would we be on a trip without visiting one of my favorite things? A cathedral. This one is Saintsbury Cathedral. Not Saintsbury, sorry. That's the name of a grocery store that I keep thinking of when I want to think of Salisbury. Salisbury Cathedral. And it's got the highest spire, that pointy thing way up there, in all of England. And the fourth highest in the world. Sorry, I should clarify. Fourth highest medieval spire in the world. Jamie's pretty excited because there's some sort of man lying down on a piece of metal. <laughs> Not sure what he's doing, but it looks cool. This is sort of my thing. Let's see if I can take some footage down the cathedral. I have souvenirs. Yes, postcards and magnets. <laughs> so wait. Let's go inside. Hey guys, Josh T here again. So, uh, Jamie and I had a good day today. As you saw, we went to uh, Salisbury, then off to Stonehenge, and then we did make it into Salisbury Cathedral. But I didn't take my, my uh, camera because it was pretty quiet and I didn't want to disturb any of the patients. But uh, we're on our way home now. On the train, as you can probably tell, it's quite loud. And I didn't want to vlog again inside because it's... It's very quiet in there. There's not many people. Uh, and it's a, it's a quiet zone. So, but in here in between cars uh, where all the racket is. But anyways, we're heading back and uh, we hope you enjoyed our video. And one little thing before I say it. But Jamie, anytime we're traveling anywhere, whether it's a bus, a car, or a train, always falls asleep. 